Hello everyone to another Catan video. So I am playing the base game here and I am in the first position. There is not a lot of ore on this board. Um, a pretty good amount of wood and brick available. A decent amount of wheat and sheep available as well. I like the 8-5-10 spot quite a bit. Uh, that's pretty high producing spot. Uh, also 8-4-3 seems to be a decent producing spot. But because there is very little ore, I think just going for something like 8-3-4 here makes sense. I can point to the right and try and build either on the 5-4 or on the, uh, on the brick port. But I think pointing downwards is also okay. Yeah, going towards the sheep port makes more sense, I would say. Now, especially because I think I will be able to get something like uh, a 6 5 11 or a 6 3 11 when it comes back to me. Yeah, 6511 might not be available. Somebody might go for something like 695 and then try and build towards the wood port. And I believe 61112 will also be taken. So there is a chance that I might get 6311 here. So red here goes for 9510 pointing towards the wood port. That seems to be a decent spot as well, but they will be completely dependent on the port. Here, yellow goes for 693. Uh, so basically grabbing the best wheat available on this board. And then maybe their second settlement could be on 5-4, point downwards and build on the brick port. Goes for, green goes for 6-3-11. It's a okay spot, but uh, very little wheat and ore available. But 8-5-10 is a very strong spot for sure. So here I think yellow can go for 8-4-3 or maybe even something like 6-9-12. Yeah, goes for 6-9-12. Could point to the left and build towards the 3 to one Points downwards, I don't mind that. So here I think I have 8-3-4 open for me. Uh, and also maybe 5-4-11 will be open for me as well as 6-5-11. So quite a few spots available for me. And if these are the options that I have, I would rather not go for 8-3-4. Uh, for the simple reason that my numbers will be very limited to 8-3 and 4. 6-5-11 are ba is basically giving me uh, adding 3 new numbers and along with decent production also here i can all build on the 9 10 2 point to the right and then try and build on 6 3 11 that is also an option that i would have so yeah i mean pretty quite a few strong spots open for me but i think going for something like uh, 6 5 11 is completely okay. I can now point downwards, build on 4 5, or I can point to the left and build on 10 3. Uh, 4 5 will not add any new numbers to my setup, and 10 3 11 is basically adding 10 to my setup. Neither of them are too convincing of a 
placement but i think i will point to the left just because 10 is a new number resource wise neither make much difference do roll an early 6 year um, and i will just hold on to these cards not much for me to do a seven rolls here so maybe would block the five wood and steal from me okay a uh, yellow just wants to play diplomatic i don't agree with that but uh, i don't mind that either here green also has a pretty strong setup could also could build on 834 and increase their production by quite a bit here another five rolls uh, let's see if anybody wants a sheep i might be willing to trade it away uh maybe if somebody wants a break i uh, sorry wood i might give that away i mean most likely none of these trades are going to go through and i might just have to hold on to the six cards that i have in hand uh which is fine i'll just end my turn seven rolls here so for red blocking the six sheep is a easy choice wow red also trying to play safe not sure how much i agree with those uh, uh the problem with playing safe is that if i block anyone people will be more than willing to block me so i would not want to roll a 7 at all i instead i just roll a 7 immediately and uh, because i want a break uh, i and i know but red and uh, purple don't have any break here i will steal from green i believe is a oh sorry a uh, red is what i was trying to say i do get another sheep but at this point i'll just go for a dev card i get a victory point you you might have seen me get frustrated because of uh, victory points in the past few games now i'm pretty sure yellow will target me just because i blocked them exactly that's what yellow does here and plus because i have a victory point i might not even be able to target anyone so that would be pretty unfortunate for me would like to roll a 7 i roll a 3 here so not much that i can do i'll just hold on to these cards so i believe yellow will be able to get a dev card in this turn here i would have been able to get another dev card but unfortunately my 8 is blocked So now green is in a pretty strong position. At this point I think my only option is to get a 4 is to 1 and build a road towards 3 10 So another 3 rolls here gives green 2 wheat. And two more bricks wow. so here green might be able to cut me off if they get a few decent trades 
Luckily, they are building towards the three to one port and do not cut me off. And now green is in a pretty strong position. Green has at least three ores in hand because the 11 had rolled previously as well. Unfortunate that so many sevens rolled early on and now uh, since my eight is blocked, there hasn't been any seven that has rolled. I wouldn't mind if yellow plays a monopoly on ore. Wow. So Not sure why red wanted two ores. I don't think red has two wheats in hand. Okay, it just goes for a dev card. I think that was a pretty expensive trade just to get a dev card. Green does roll a 7, so I think, the, I mean the 8 ore will be unblocked which is a good thing for me. But I'm not sure what green would want to block. Maybe the 9 brick or the 9 wood. Okay, green also doesn't want to block anyone. And green gets a city, wow. So green is in a very very strong position here. I roll a 8. Uh, let's see if I can get any trade for a brick. I know green is the only one who has any brick to offer. Yeah, I will accept that. That does give me a settlement and a dev card. I get a monopoly. That's pretty good, I would say. Here I would want to build a city pretty soon, especially because green is in a such a strong position. Seems like yellow is going for another dev card here. Maybe if yellow has the year of plenty, might actually try and get a city, but seems like they just get another dev card and build a road. So it will be pretty unfortunate if the eight ore is blocked here. Okay. I mean, green is in a such a strong position that they don't even need to block anyone here. Should easily be able to get the longest road in the next turn or probably even this turn. So another seven is rolled here and blocking green is an easy choice for me now. And 8 is rolled immediately afterwards, so that's pretty good. So green basically losing 2 bricks is a nice uh, trade there. Hopefully yellow doesn't continue to target me. Should realize how strong green is. Yeah, does target green, which makes sense.
So at this point, I don't think there is much for me to do. I'll just hold on to these cards. I know yellow is in a pretty decent position as well, but uh, but because green already has a city and a port, green is in a much stronger position than anyone else for now. So yeah, I mean yellow loses four cards here. I don't mind that at all. And I will continue targeting green, although I would like to target yellow, but uh, because yellow already has so many dev cards, they might, they will easily be able to unblock me, unblock themselves and block me. Let's see if I can get any trade. I don't have any wheat to give away. How about... Yeah, seems like no trade is going to go through. So in that case, I might just actually do a 4 is to 1, get an ore and end my turn. Because if a 3 rolls, I will be able to get 2 wheats uh, in, in a single go. Roll the 7, should block the 8 break here, might block the 6 sheep. Uh, that would be a decent choice as well. Does block the and steals from me, that's pretty unfortunate. Don't have any wheat to give away. I mean, I think red is just looking for wheat and they believe I have it. Whereas I don't have any wheat. So most likely, yeah, yellow plays the knight. And now steal, continue stealing from green. I don't mind that at all. Of four rolls here that gives me some wheat. And I roll a seven, so red now loses four cards, but I can continue targeting green for now. I believe I'll just go for a dev card here. And I get another victory point, so not what I'm looking for, but uh, this isn't the worst case for sure. Nine rolls here. I'm looking for a decent uh, time to play Monopoly. I don't want to play it too early and uh, put myself in risk. So another four rolls here. So at the very least, I should be able to get another dev card. Uh, but at this point, I think I'll just hold on to my cards. Uh, that's a risk worth taking. So another four rolls. So I just need a eight and I will be able to get a city. And getting a city on eight, three, four would be pretty strong for sure. Uh, I will trade it for a sheep. I mean, I can actually even trade it for a wood, but uh, surely not doing it for an over here.
okay i think i might actually have to let get the longest road here by not building or not trying to cut them off wouldn't want green to get the longest road the eight being blocked is pretty good here green has lost out on quite a few bricks unfortunately i roll a seven uh, this has been a common trend in the past few games as well me rolling a seven exactly when i needed the most i am giving up all my ore here uh, maybe i can give up a wheat and at this point i might actually target red i do get another wheat here so i don't mind that at all if i don't get this trade i will surely go for a dev card i get a road building that seems to be a pretty good card as well uh yellow can easily play a knight if they want to block me i wouldn't mind it yeah they do block me here and roll the 10 immediately afterwards wow so a 3 is rolled let's see what uh green wants to do here okay build a settlement and should be able to build another road as well okay so i know green has at least two wheats in hand uh So let's see if anybody wants a wheat I might be willing to give it away I mean I don't have much of a choice I have to play my monopoly sooner or later and now that because yellow has targeted me uh, I think I have to play it now I also know that both yellow and green have at least an ore in hand. Let's see if I can get any trade here. A one is to two would be fine. If I'm just getting a one is to one, I might not accept it. yeah seems like i can just end my turn here so red gets a settlement uh, so for red to grow they need to build a city now does roll a 7 so pretty sure now uh, yellow loses out on four cards and i think yellow might continue to target me and there is absolutely nothing that i would be able to do about that okay blocks green i don't mind that build a road i wouldn't accept this trade but i think red might accept it or for that matter even green might because green is also building uh, holding on for a city okay doesn't get any trades so might just end their turn here okay builds two roads uh, just to stop me from taking away that spot i don't mind that should block the nine break 
but uh, might actually yeah does block the nine break steals from red i would love to see a 11 or a 12 roll on my turn instead i roll a 3 here so actually i might act play my monopoly now might not have might not be the best time but uh, let's see if i can get something out of it uh not sure if red uh, would accept this how about a uh, one is to one yeah red is looking for a over here because i think i am going to play my monopoly i will accept it for now stop yellow from building on the over and then just play my monopoly on wheat and i will be able to get a city that makes me you know that puts me in a pretty strong position might have been a little too hasty but uh, i think at this point i did not have much of a choice i was kind of stuck so now i think um, yellow will be able to get their settlement by using a 3 to 1 port here because a couple of sixes roll they might be able to convert their wheat into ore okay so th looks like yellow is going for a dev card I am a little surprised that green isn't building the longest road. Eight rolls here seems like a pretty good roll to me, but uh, I'll just hold on to my cards for now. A seven rolls might actually target the eight over now, which would be unfortunate. But I think green should be targeted. yeah does target me that's unfortunate but not much that i can do about that that's a 2 is to 1 should be able to get a dev card at the very least would like to see a 4 or a three roll so that i can get dev cards as well a nine rolls here that's couple of breaks for yeah so that basically means a road for yellow and a road for uh, red I would actually like to see a four roll so that I can get another dev card here. Instead, a twelve rolls and there is absolutely nothing that I can do with the cards I have. I wouldn't mind a seven as well, but uh, looks like oh twelve has rolled five times. That's oh sorry four times. here i am scared that somebody might be willing to trade with red but not much that i can do about that red might be able to accept the trade that i am offering how about a trade like this
So red just does a four is to one and gets a city on the wood port. So now I think red is also very scary. Yeah, I think I mean I'm just falling behind in production here. Just having these uh, victory points in hand is not helping me in any way. Another five rolls here, so that's a lot of wood for uh, a couple of wood for red and wood for green. So green might be able to just build on the ore port if they want to. Okay, just build on. So yeah, green is on eight points, and I think just wins the game if they have a victory point here. Yeah. Uh, okay, doesn't win the game, but now surely is in the front row seat. Another eight rolls here. Uh, let's see if I can do something about it. Red doesn't want to trade away their bricks at all, which is the worst part over here. And I don't want to do a. Okay, it does accept it. Although I know I am risking here, but. I think that's a risk worth taking. So now I can actually just get the longest road and stop green from winning the game immediately. Um, let's see if people are willing to trade now. Seeing as how green can just win the game. Yeah, looks like red is still not willing to trade. So I'll just build the longest road. And con oh, I just ran out of time. I would have actually liked to uh, get a dev card as well. I could have actually gotten a dev card. I was just waiting for a little too much, uh, waiting for red quite a bit. So that was surely a mistake on my part. A couple of sixes roll here. So yellow, I think, has to only get dev cards and a city. Nothing else helps them. Would now target me though. Okay, continues targeting green. I don't mind that at all. And does get a city. Would want to see a three roll here. Green steals from me, which makes sense. I roll a nine here. So uh, not much that I can do. Let's see if I can get any trades. So this trade would basically just give me a city. Oh, sorry, a settlement. And if I don't get any trade, I might just have to do a 4 is to 1, convert my ore into. Yeah, I think I don't have much of a choice here. Convert my ore into brick and end my turn here. Hopefully a seven rolls so that red loses out on quite a few cards. I am a little worried that red might want to cut me off here. So 
so if red does cut me off then i think green might just win the game because then green gets the longest road so yeah i need to win this game pretty quickly now or else uh, yeah red and green both might be able to win the game before i am i will accept it maybe yellow is on 9 points and yellow might win the game here so yeah yellow was able to cut off green there which is good thing here so a uh, six rolls let's see if green can get the longest road and even if they do get the longest road they might they will still be only on a uh, nine points four rolls that's a four after quite some time but at this point i don't think i can do anything i mean i need to get couple of trades here or else i can only do is build a settlement I built a settlement on four five so that red cannot cut me off. But I don't have any ports or anything, so maybe just do a four is to one and get an over and end my turn so that if for eight rolls I can build a city. A six rolls here. there are 13 dev cards not sure i mean maybe if red has two dev cards red yeah red does go uh, red might have two victory points here i have two and yellow might have one a uh, eight does roll so i should be able to win the game in the next turn uh but completely depends on what green has here because a eight rolled green does have quite a few bricks in hand and they might be able to get the longest road on their turn so i think the best case scenario for me would wow so i think yellow just wins the game now yeah seems like yellow is able to get a city and wins the game so i end the game on the second position that trade in the end with green green made a mistake by accepting a trade with uh, red oh, sorry with yellow but overall yellow wasn't targeted at all and i think that's why they won the game green and i were targeted quite a bit yellow did have a very poor setup but uh, they were able to get a few trades in the end especially because sixes were rolling quite a bit and neither of the sixes were ever blocked i would say i was again unlucky getting victory points early in my hand uh but uh, that's how it is like in the past few games i have been getting victory points early on and uh, i feel those are the main reason why i am being why i am finding it difficult to win the game overall i end the game on 9 points and i lose a couple of elo points here So I think I should be in 1400s now in the ranking. 
Uh, I'm still at 1350, uh, 1375. Not the worst, but I would want to rise a lot higher. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.